Alright, so this is my comprehensive guide to how to read a pedigree. Right here, this is the pedigree for my dog Sadie, whose registered name is Omegans Make Me an Angel. The reason that registered names are important is because with each different registry, they need a way to more specifically identify a dog other than just with their call name. For instance, there might be a million dogs in the United States with the call name of Sadie. However, she is the only dog in the United States that has the registered name Omegans Make Me an Angel. Two dogs cannot have the same registered name exactly. The way that most people tell dogs apart is by their kennel name, however. Our kennel name is Omegan. So you'll see a lot of these dogs, for instance, this dog is from Lydiardly, so it'll have that name first. Alright, so basically, pedigrees are pretty simple once you know how to read them. You've got the first two boxes, which feature the sire and dam. Of your dog. This is Sadie's dam, and this is Sadie's sire. And on each side of the pedigree, you'll see the sire's sire and the sire's dam, and then those dogs' parents, and then all of those dogs' parents. So what you see here is a what we call a five-generation pedigree. So this dog here would basically be Sadie's great 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 grandsire. Pretty confusing when you think about it. <laughs> and it's the same for both sides. It's pretty much no nonsense. It just shows you what's behind your dog. The reason that it's important to know what kind of dogs are in your dog's ancestry is because you might want to know what kind of genes are going into your puppy. For instance, with this pedigree, I can tell that Sadie has the genes that support a good working dog. You see a couple different herding titles in this dog. Her sire was a dual champion, which means that he competed, he earned his herding championship and his confirmation championship, stuff like that. But I also can tell that she would make a pretty good show dog, just because a lot of the dogs that are in this pedigree were tested for confirmation and so and also a lot of the dogs in her pedigree are show champions so I know that she's she's got the genes to become a pretty good show dog now not all puppies will end up turning out like their pedigree suggests but it's kind of a good way to just imagine what your dog's genes are going to be like. But also, you, with a pedigree, you can go further into certain things, like you can tell if a dog is going to be a certain color, or, um, I don't know. There's, there's various things that a pedigree can tell you. Anyway, what you can see here is that there are various dogs with titles. If a dog earns a champion title, for instance a mock, which is a master agility title, a CH, which means a champion in the confirmation ring, an OCH, which is obedience champion, and there's various champion titles in tracking, herding, various things. But here you can see show champion the champion titles will always be listed in front of the dog's name. Other titles, like obedience titles, will be listed after the dog's name. And if you go to the AKC's website, they have a list of AKC titles and abbreviations that will help you figure out what exactly your dog's parents have as far as titles are concerned. Alright, so this dog here as two titles behind her name. You know, basically in this pedigree you'll see a couple different titles, but since Sadie's pedigree features a lot of dogs that live in England, they don't do titles exactly the same way that we do, so you won't see titles after some of these dogs' names. If you see the words S-H-C-H in front of the dog's name, 
you will know that that dog finished his championship in England. If you see, for instance, IRCH, you'll know that the dog finished the championship in Ireland. Often they'll abbreviate the name of the country and then put a CH after it. That always shows that that dog is a champion in the confirmation field. Now, there are other ways that there are other champion titles that are not necessarily um, confirmation titles. This dog is a Supreme International Champion spot that's his name and he is registered with ISDS which is the English Working Dog Registry for Border Collies so even though it says international champion he's not actually a champion in the confirmation ring he's a champion in the field of herding so sometimes different registries will have different abbreviations for titles Basically, the whole thing with pedigrees is you can see laid out in front of you what your dog's ancestors are, and often you can get more information on them by asking your breeder. Your breeder should know a lot of information about the dogs that are behind their, their pedigrees. Alright, so that's basically all you need to know. With this, I'm also going to include the list of AKC titles and abbreviations. But if you have any questions on any titles that are in your dog's pedigree, feel free to email me. Thanks.